Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy. On this channel, we do DIYs, we do thrift lifts, we do wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter. Today, I want to show you how we can turn these old crusty windows into some beautiful home decor and something you could even make some money off of. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's get into depth about this window DIY we got going on. So I picked these up. I rescued them. Okay. I rescued them and I gave them a home. That's what I did with these. Uh, they were for free and I have, I think like three of them. And you know what? My mission this year is go through the stuff that I have. Okay. That's what we need to do. So the back is pretty beat up. You could tell the white side was outside and then this wood part was what was inside because it definitely was way more beautiful than the opposite side even the hardware was still attached it was so beautiful so we need to start by cleaning this thing up now when you are dealing with super old window i mean anything you guys with paint and stuff make sure that you're wearing protective gloves eyewear all of that this still had um metal in it you know i'm not like a window expert or anything so i don't know what these exactly were but they were very hard to get off okay um this probably took me a, a good 30 minutes to get these off there's one on top and bottom now i'm going to take this wire brush and the only reason i'm doing this is because i have no idea where my sander is in the mess of a garage we have right now so this is just helping me get off any of like the old chippies and things that don't belong there now i'm taking this tool my husband doesn't know that i got it out of his toolbox but it was like a picky thing and i am just trying to pick away the excess paint on this side and then the actual wood on the windows look at this do you see how it's just falling off I wanted to keep as much of it as I could but I didn't want somebody buying this and like hurting themselves or something I don't know didn't feel right so I cleaned that up left what I could on it and now we are gonna get my favorite glass cleaner and clean this window front to back. I've actually seen a lot of people that flip furniture say to use glass cleaner because it acts as a degreaser as well. Have you all heard that? I know Amber Strong is somebody that um, uses glass cleaner to clean her furniture before she flips it. So you're welcome for that useless information. Uh, but, now I am going to use my crackle medium and y'all, I am only showing you this so I could get advice from you guys. I don't know if crackle medium goes bad. This is my folk art crackle medium. It is like my tried and true. It always does the job for me. However, you could see in the bottle, it was like yellowy when usually it's clear. I put it on like I usually do. Y'all, it did absolutely nothing. I applied my ink um paints by waverly and no crackle usually like right when you put the paint on the crackle starts coming through and it's so beautiful this it didn't happen so i'm assuming crackle medium has an expiration date um after it's open if you know please let me know or i uh, you know i could google it myself too but you know I'd rather read your comments. So I am doing a messy coat of this black paint. I think with the image that we are going to use later, it's really gonna help the pop to pop the outline of our image out and give it more depth, I guess you can say. Now, again, just doing a messy coat, I'll do the inside of the frame and everything, and then we are going to move on to, I think the floor, let's see. No, we're not. Um, I'm a fibber. Now we're going to take our razor blade and clean off any of that chalk paint. That's why if you're like, why didn't you tape it off? Chalk paint is so easy to get off with a razor blade when you're dealing with like glass or a mirror. So that's what I chose to do in this instance. Sorry if you hear Hank barking. Now again, this glass cleaner, make sure you clean off your front very well before you stick down your transfer or whatever you choose to use you do not want any debris up behind your transfer and you want it as clean as possible to ensure that um, it goes on and stays on the way 
it's supposed to. And can I just say that this is like my favorite glass cleaner ever in the entire world of worlds. It is from Walmart and it is, look at that price. This is serious. My husband even loves this. I love it. So check it out. All right, you guys. So we're still working on our window here, but I wanted to pop in. That's Hank. Um, I wanted to pop in because I wanted to kind of share with you guys, like my new thing for 2023. When you guys visit my channel, I want you guys to leave with some value added to your day, to your life, to your crafting experience. I want to teach you guys something. And that's why sometimes my videos are longer than most people's. I mean, I feel like the average now on YouTube is like 15 minutes and mine are definitely like double that time. But it's because I truly want you guys to learn something new. Um, or maybe it's just a new way of doing something that you've done the same way for many years. Um, I am somebody that when I watch a YouTube video, if I'm not learning anything from them, I'm most likely not going to watch their content. If it's one of those videos where I know I could fast forward and I like, I'm like, uh, okay, yeah, I get that. Then that's not bringing any value to my time. Our time is so precious. And if I'm going to sit down and invest my time in watching content, I want to learn something. I want to grow from it. And that's what I want to bring to you guys this year. So gosh, all of that rambling, I am so sorry, but, um, I'm thinking about doing one video a week where I just spend a little bit more time on one project that leads into a video of more projects like it. So we'll see how that goes. I hope you're enjoying the content. Again, all of like my IOD, any of the DIY paints that I use, they are down in the description box for you all the time. Uh, make sure you like and make sure you comment. It's a free way of helping your girl out. It lets YouTube know you're enjoying this content and they're more likely to share it with other people. With that said, you guys, let's go ahead and finish this window. Apologies for that lengthy interruption. Um, now we are going to go on with our IOD transfers. You saw me use these in uh, some previous gold and black DIYs, and we are going to use them for this window. Now, IOD usually comes with like four images in a booklet. They usually create one larger image that is broken up into four sheets. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my first sheet and I'm just placing it behind the window just so I could get more of a visual of how it's gonna look with the window frames where they are, okay? So now I'm, and can I just tell you guys, uh, this was so uncomfortable doing it on the floor. I don't know how Kristen K does it. Um, so I am gonna cut this down and I am just cutting it where it overlapped onto the frame of the window. There might be easier ways of doing this, you guys, but this is how we're doing it today. So I'm gonna cut the top excess off. And what is nice about these transfers is they have these grids on them. So you, I'm gonna get some really nice straight lines that are gonna butt up directly against my square window pane, which is what we want. Now it's just going to be a lot of back and forth. I put the image in, I see where I need to cut and make sure you guys, if you're going to cut, you know, cut, leave a, a little extra on there. Cause you could always go back and cut a little bit more off, but you, you can never go back when you cut too much, you know? All right, so now that I got it to the size I want, I'm gonna lay my transfer down on the glass. I did not clear this with anything. We are just putting the transfer directly onto the glass. I'm gonna take my scraping tool that comes with the booklet, and I'm going to rub down on that transfer. These adhere so well. I mean, there it's it does not take a lot of work whatsoever. So I like to peel up and back on my carrier sheet as I am rubbing down on my image. I feel like this helps release the transfer from the carrier sheet and it also allows me to see if anything is left on my carrier sheet. And if that's the case, I just put that sheet back down and rub a little harder on the area that the image is still stuck on and then Everett's down here helping as well. 
So after I get that one done, voila, you make sure to burnish it. Sorry, I did not show that, but I do burnish it. See, I always have to leave something out. I say this is a thorough video, goodness gracious. All right, so now with our second image, you can see on the top right there, there is a leaf, okay? And if you look at the sunflower, there is also a leaf. See it up there in the corner? So I am trying to line up the images so it looks like it's just flowing, flowing. Is that right? I don't know. You, you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. So I do this one the same way we're rubbing the image and there we go. Then I would burnish it, which means I would rub that carrier sheet on over it in order to make sure that it is down and it stays down. We're going to repeat this process for this paint, this window pane as well. And I just wanted to say, you guys can get windows, okay? You need a hunt Facebook marketplace, you need to stock it, okay? You see these, you see the three right there, then you scroll up a little bit more, there's another one, like two for 15 bucks. I stock Facebook marketplace for free stuff and really good deals. It just takes a little time, okay? But look on marketplace. So I'm going to finish this one off. Now with the IOD booklet, I had used one of the sheets for the previous DIYs I did. So I am working with three of the sheets and I'm just trying to figure out how I can make it flow without the entire image. So you can see, so the top of this image I used for the DIY, so it's missing. So I wanted to make sure that I made it look like it belonged there, you know, like I didn't just like cut it off and it's missing the top part. So I am going through and I am cutting this down to size and then right where they almost look like peas. Do you see that right next to the lavender on the bottom? We're going to overlap right there. And they make these transfers so easy, y'all, because they give you just enough room to either overlap or connect your pieces. Like if you were doing this on, a, you know, a piece of furniture or something, they give you just a little overlapping, which is nice. So you can see like right where those peas are. I'm going to call them peas. I don't know what they are, you guys. Uh, I overlapped the leaf right there. And then I just keep making my way down. And y'all, you're welcome. Because sitting like this <laughs> was so painful. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I getting that old? Oh, no, I'm 36 years old. Come on. I don't know if any of you guys watch Kristen K. She does majority of her DIYs on the floor. And I'm like, girl, I can't. I cannot do it. My back was hurting. My butt was hurting. My legs were hurting. It was just all hurting afterwards. Okay. So you guys, after this is done, we're going to go out to the garage. We're going to use this mirror effect by Rust-Oleum. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So directions, make sure you're in a well ventilated space. It said it needed to be like 50 to 80 degrees, which it was way below that. So, uh, it still worked though. And we are using the back of our mirror. You don't need to tape anything off. And we're gonna do thin layers of this paint. We're gonna coat this three times. So we are going to go in, do one coat, and you could see I'm going in nice and thin, getting each window pane. I don't care if it gets on the wood, you're not gonna see the back. And you can start seeing this dry down right away. So do you see that? You see my finger going over there? So the, the part that's still cloudy, that means it's wet. And then as it dries down, you already start see, seeing that mirror effect. So I wait until I see majority of the mirror. I sprayed it a second time. So see how it's like cloudy? Okay. So I sprayed it a second time and then I went in a third time as well. So after the third, look at, you could already see the mirror effect starting. You could see where it's still wet around those edges. So I allow it to dry. Now I'm taking a 50-50 water vinegar solution 
and I am sprinkling this on the back of the window, okay? So where we just sprayed that mirror effect. The more liquid you put on, the more will come, the more, will, the more mirror will come off, okay? So I put a heavy coat. That's what I was looking for. So you can see we got all of our solution on here. The bigger drops, the bigger gonna have come off. So I am going to take, you could take a paper towel, you can take a, uh, what do you call it? A microfiber cloth, doesn't matter. I'm using a paper towel. And I found that dabbing and then putting a little pressure and twisting worked the best for me. So you can see I'm dabbing and then I do like a little twist. Now where you're seeing the white come through, that is where our transfer is where it kind of looks black, that is where there's no image and that's what you will see on the opposite side. So I keep doing this throughout the entire mirror. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see, sorry, I'm not gonna flip it around yet. Now I watched a few videos on this and I almost wonder if it would work better just using 100% vinegar on this because it did take some, you know, elbow grease to like push in and like twist it, or maybe I did not leave the vinegar and water solution on long enough. It still did its job, don't get me wrong. Just, I wonder if it would be easier to do 100% vinegar. Now, I flip it around and I'm trying to just see where my spots are. So where did it take off the mirror and where do I want more of it to be off? So I looked at it and then I flipped it back around and I did this same process, but I focused a lot on the big areas. Now that that's dry, I'm taking metallic gold by rust -oleum, and we are going to spray the back. Again, you do not need to tape anything off. Just make sure not to get it on the sides and you're gonna do even coats. So you see where all those black spots are? That is where in the mirror, this gold is going to come through. So really you can use any color. You could use bronze, you could use black, you could use purple. I mean, any color combo you want, but just keep in mind whatever second coat you spray, that's what we're gonna see. So now that that's all dry, I brought this back into the house. I am getting dark wax by DIY and I'm going to seal everything that we painted. Please, you guys, if you have done this before, is there a way to seal the transfer? Because in my eyes, I was thinking, no, I could put polyacrylic over it, but I feel like that would give me even a cloudier residue on the front. So please let me know. And I also didn't apply clear to the back over the gold because the more I was adding the gold, the cloudier it got. So the last step that I do is I'm gonna put these eye hooks in. You could get these at any hardware store. I'm putting them four inches in right in the middle. And this will give somebody the opportunity to add jute cord to it, hang it from chains, um, and they have just more flexibility on you know where they could put it in their decor. And this is how it turned out. I hope you guys liked this form of a video, a little slower. I hope you learned something new, and maybe you'll teach me something new by watching this video, any tips or tricks you have for me. And I hope it inspires you to step out of your comfort zone. There are so many things lately that I have been trying that I'm scared of or I don't think are gonna turn out great. And then I'm really pleasantly surprised after I'm done with how well I did. So it's, it's a new year, you guys. Step out of those comfort zones, try new things, see how you like them. And again, I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know how you like just this long form one DIY content. And I appreciate you always being here with me and being a part of our community. I hope you have an amazing day and I will be back on Saturday. Good lighting, good lighting. <laughs> Look, I actually like did my eyeshadow and did like two colors. Okay. Did I cut my head off? You guys.
Don't be jealous of the outfit. See that? Looking good, huh? Look good. People at Walmart has nothing on me. You guys, I have a fabulous day.